Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hunt, the Amazing, Spectacular, Terrific, the Great One, the People's Champion. Your host, I welcome back to the Baseball Hunt 2, and hopefully you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. So the Cardinals did not make the postseason. I'm sure you were always asking. The Cardinals didn't make the postseason. Uh, they had a winning record. They third in the, Amer the National League Central. But apparently they're going to be making a lot of changes. And they might be even getting rid of the manager. Who knows? You know. But uh, this is from MLB Trade Rumors. Headline, Cardinals are part ways with Paul Goldschmidt could reduce payroll this winter. The Cardinals do not plan on bringing veteran first baseman Paul Goldschmidt back in 2025, according to a report from the Athletics. Katie, woo! Goldschmidt is scheduled to hit free agency this offseason, and while the club had previously been rumored to have interest in bringing him back, it now appears the club will part ways with the future Hall of Famer. For his part, Goldschmidt has made clear that he plans to continue his career. In 2025. Goldschmidt isn't the only player expected to depart this offseason. According to Woo, it's unlikely that any of the club's pending free agents will return to the club next year as the club pivots towards a focus on bolstering his player development apparatus. Woo specifically noted that relievers Andrew Kittredge and Kanan Middleton are expected to land elsewhere this winter, though she emphasized it was not yet clear whether veteran starters Lance Lynn and Kyle Gibson are included in the expected exits. St. Louis bids holds identical $12 million club options for the dual services for next year, each with a $1 million buyout. Who also notes that a reduction to the major league payroll could be on the horizon as the club reinvests in player development, echoing a report from USA Today's Bob Knight year earlier today that indicated the Cardinals could shop veteran right-hander Sonny Gray as they look to cut payroll. Woo! Then explicitly suggest that Gray will be shopped. It did list a right hand among a handful of veteran Cardinal players whose futures with the club could put be put into question by a drop in payroll this winter. Alongside third baseman Nolan Arenado, catcher Wilson Contreras, Wilson, and closer Ryan Helsley. The trade room has discussed Gray's potential trade candidacy earlier today in conjunction of Nightingale's report, which noted the Reds as a potential suitor for the veteran services. If the Cardinals are going to look at shopping gray this winter in an effort to reduce payroll, it's only natural that the club could entertain offers on a number of other high-priced veterans as well. Contreras in particular could be a sensible candidate for the club to move this winter. The 32-year-old backs up has been nothing short of phenomenal with the bat since he joined the Cardinals prior to the 2023 season. Uh, hitting 263 and 209 games with the Cardinals as he sustained the offensive breakout he enjoyed during his final season with the Cubs in 2022. That being said, not everything has gone well for Contreras since he joined the club. The veterans have temporarily moved that off of catcher after just six weeks in the organization, only to be reinstated as the Cubs' regular catcher shortly thereafter. It got to a point where they were begging him to come back. Wilson, I'm sorry. They begged them. They were so sorry. Felt so bad for him. Per StatCast fielding run value, Contreras was worth negative three runs behind the plate last year. That was his worst figure since 2019. Those defensive struggles behind the plate led the club's coaches to suggest his move closer to the plate while catching. The strategy seems to have worked to improve his defense at the position. As his FRV improved to plus zero this year. But it came as a substantial cost as the veteran suffered an arm fracture that required surgery early this year after being struck by a swing from Mets designated hitter J.D. Martinez. Given the Cardinals' concerns regarding Contreras' defense, the $54.5 million due to him over the next three seasons in the presence of up-and-coming youngsters Ivan Herrera and Pedro Bajas ready to take on larger roles in the majors, it would hardly be a surprise if the Cardinals decide to listen to offers on the veteran catcher this offseason. <clears throat> Given his success to play over the past three years, it seems reasonable to expect that teams would have interest in the veteran services, even if they join the St. Louis suspicions regarding his defense behind the plate, as he could move to a first base or DH role fairly seamlessly if an acquiring club. Why don't they just put him at first? <clears throat> I mean, if you think about it, if, if you're going to, like, uh, 
and he even talking about moving Contreras off of the off of, you know from behind the plate. Just put him at first, right? Just put him at first, and you have a first baseman. You got he still can hit. And on the days you don't feel comfortable with him playing defense, you, you DH him. Arenado, on the other hand, could be tricky for the club to move in the event they shop him. The 33-year-old future Hall of Famer opting in for the final five years and $144 million of his contract. The club prior to the 23 season will move that at the time was somewhat surprised. With that being said, their, basin, their baseman hasn't looked like the MVP candidate who goes early in his, his career over two years since then. In 296 games with St. Louis over the past two years, he's at 269. That's still good and in conjunction with his strong, but not no longer elite defense at third. He has been good for 5.4 fan graphs war total over the past two years. You know, what's interesting about the Cardinals is, is they've not been run really well, to uh, be honest with you. And if they're going to shed payroll, there are names out there that could be moved, you know, uh, or that they could sign. But if they're not adding to payroll, it's not going to happen. Uh, Christian Walker's going to be a free agent. Pete Alonso's going to be a free agent. But if they're going to be shedding payroll, I highly doubt they're going to be signing those guys. Again, like I said, they'd be better off just moving Contreras to first, give their young players a chance behind the plate, and play players that are in position. Uh, you know, as a Mets fan, Mets fans know what the Cardinals do. And the Cardinals never play players out of position. But for some reason, the Cardinals like to do that. Of late, just play the players in position. Now you put Contreras at first, obviously, but he might not be in position anymore to be a first baseman. He might—I mean, a, a catcher, excuse me—but he might be now a first baseman at this point in his career. And maybe you just save yourself a you know bad catcher, and just have sort of an average to mediocre first baseman, at least for 120 games a year, and then have some kind of like defensive replacement for them late in the game, or or you DH him a lot. But I'm not also in green with the Cardinals. That I know exactly what they need to do. But certainly, uh, uh, it's going to be very interesting. So let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please hit the subscribe button. I'll see you later.